Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to make a pie. I'm going to make an egg and bacon pie, or maybe a bacon and egg pie. Oh yes. This was requested by Regnad Detsor. Try saying that backwards. So, um, yeah. Uh, what can I say? Bacon and egg pie. Fantastic. Let's do it. If you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. Ring the bell, ding a ding ding. All that good stuff. And let's do it. I'm going to make the pastry first and I've decided to do a sort of buttery short crust so that'll be really nice with the bacon and the eggs. I'm going to make a family size pie and I'm going to make it in this cake tin <laughs> with a removable bottom. That's um, actually not a big one, it's uh, 18 centimetres across, that's 7 inches diameter, um, but it is quite deep. Four centimetres, so we'll get plenty of filling in that. Ingredients for the pastry, I've got 340 grams of plain all-purpose flour. I've got 85 grams each of lard and butter. And those are both cut into small chunks to make it easier to mix them in. I've got one egg and a teaspoon of salt and 60 ml of cold water. So I'm going to add the salt to the flour first of all, just quickly whiz that in. And then we need to mix in the fat so that we end up with something that looks like coarse breadcrumbs. If you're doing this by hand, mix it in with your fingertips, not your full hand, because that would be too hot. So I'll pop some bits of fat in there. Get that going. So when the butter and flour look like crumbs, we can add the egg and mix that in and then add the water and get that mixed in as well. And when it all comes together in a bowl, we'll take it out of the bowl and wrap it in plastic film and just let it rest for about half an hour. For the filling, you're going to need about 125 grams of bacon, six eggs, three of them whole and three of them beaten, a teaspoon of oregano, if you like, and salt and pepper and some cream. This is just ordinary single cream. 150 ml. Possibly won't use all that, but we'll see. So I mentioned uh, cooking bacon in a video a couple of weeks ago about lentil soup and cheap things. This is half a kilo of cooking bacon. It was 75 pence. So, you know, it's obviously not the best quality and it's all over the place. If you can't get cooking bacon or don't want to, you can use streaky or back bacon or lardons. The only thing I'd say is, unusually for me, you don't want too much fat on it. So it is a big thick chunk and I need to cut it down somewhat. <laughs> I'm going to cook it in the microwave for two minutes and some people will be going crazy about that. But uh, it's actually, it's the best way to get rid of all the water that's been pumped into it. I don't know why they do that, but they do. Sandwich it between a couple of sheets of paper. Give it two minutes in the microwave. And then you want to get it off the, the paper as soon as you can, otherwise the paper might stick. So separate these in a single layer just to ooh, cool down and dry a little bit. And there's no need to cook them anymore because they will, they will continue cooking in the pie. I'm gonna whiz up three eggs with the cream, the oregano and some salt and pepper. You might notice I'm using large eggs. <laughs> I always used to use medium-sized ones, but they seem to have disappeared from the face of the earth, or at least from my local supermarkets. So uh, I'm not quite sure why that is. I know there's a problem with um, eggs, uh, with eggs, chickens, having to be kept indoors over the winter because of bird flu. Whiz, whiz, whiz. Oregano. Probably half a teaspoon salt. Actually, not too much salt because the bacon is probably quite salty. Pepper and some cream. And mixy mixy. Right, set that aside and let's uh, roll out some pastry. Thank you. 
sprinkle some flour on your worktop and take uh, a bit less than half of the pastry and this will be the lid. There's probably too much pastry here but that's okay. So I'm just going to trim around and leave quite a bit of a rim or a margin on the other side and then roll out some more for the bottom. Now I've uh, buttered the inside of this but I'm also going to sprinkle some flour on on the pastry to help make it not stick. So press the pastry down to the bottom. If you've got sharp fingernails just get a bit of pastry to, to use to push the dough right in. Just give that a loose trim near the edge. I'm going to fill the pie now so spread out a layer of bacon along the bottom and then spoon over some of the creamy egg mix and break the whole eggs over that. Okay, now the rest of the bacon. And the rest of the creamy egg mix. Now I'm going to put the top on, but I actually want to uh, do a little light lattice work on it. Um, not a full wide open lattice, but just a, a little bit to give it a bit of texture. Link below if you want to buy one of these and I get a penny. Now moisten the rim with water and then pop the top on. Just try and pull it open a little bit and press it down all around the edge. And then trim it. Then we'll make up some egg wash with one egg. The small one would have been good. <laughs> Not, not available, and uh, a sploosh of milk, and we paint the top of the pie with that. Now I've got the oven heating to 160 degrees Celsius for a fan oven, convection oven, that's 180 for a normal one, and that is gas 4. And then this goes into the oven for mm, 35 minutes. Time's up, let's have a look. That's a bit pale, I'm going to give it another 10 minutes actually. Time's up again, let's have a look. Something very strange has happened, I think the, um, oh yeah, all the eggs inside, they've expanded and it's risen and pushed the top up. All right, let's uh, see if we can get him out of the tin. Ooh, still hot. There we go. Right, I'll just leave that to cool down for a bit and then uh, have a play. All right, let's cut the thing open. Pastry's pretty crumbly. Oh, look, steam. Egg and bacon pie. Time for a little taste test, and I can tell you, I am ready for this. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, the egg is nice and moist. And could possibly do with a bit more salt, <laughs> but that's just me. Mm. I think the pastry is a bit more crumbly than I would like. Um, Possibly because of the egg. Don't know. 
All right, there we go. Egg and bacon pie. Probably very nice, cool with a picnic. Not a pie to serve hot, I don't think. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.